It was found over on Ellerby Street uh, in downtown Durham and um, just right in the middle of the city. We have to uh, post that the animal has been located uh, for a certain uh, time period. Um, from there, uh, if nobody comes to claim it, um, then what we do is we go ahead and host a, a public auction uh, for, for the sale of the animal. One of the great things we've done over the last six months is we've established a, a partnership with uh, the Blind Spot Animal Sanctuary. Um, so we've been able to work with them and when we pick up an animal like we did, the goat, uh, we'll take it up to them, they'll house it. Um, they have a, a large property up there, so, uh, many acres. Um, so they're able to house it with, within the barn and, and the fields and stuff and then uh, until we can either locate the owner or put it up for the uh, auction. Blindspot is a privately owned and run and financed uh, sanctuary and rescue organization. We are a farm animal sanctuary. Uh, specifically, we are focusing on pot belly pigs, but we are always open to take any kind of farm animals here. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of places to go to for farm animals. The shelters are not set up for housing farm animals, and there are no rescue organizations. There are no grants available, the industry doesn't care about it because they're meat or dairy products. Billy is getting fully vetted. <coughs> Uh, he, we already started with it, so the vet was already here and he was seen. Uh, he's definitely getting neutered and spayed because that's the biggest, the biggest issue you know, in, in, in the U.S. at the moment. The overpopulations are those animals, so we neuter and spay as we can. And once he's settling in, then we make the appropriate decision if he's going up for adoption or if he stays in our herd. Because we also maintain a healthy herd to actually integrate other animals into the group that they're getting socialized. Um, they're a, a sanctuary that has um, really tried to work with other government agencies, people in general, um, that when when there's issues with livestock that can't be housed in the current locations that they'll take them in and they'll, they'll take care of them until they can either adopt them out or they end up keeping them on the property themselves. Alright, so we have one bid for 50. Any other bids out there? Okay. Uh, can we go higher? <laughs> Alright, so we have a bid for one, uh, 145 at this point? 150, okay, 150. Alright, going once, going twice, the bid is $200, sold for $200. Alright, thank you very much.